Macron's recent statements regarding Africa have sparked discussions about the continent's governance and the role foreign powers play in its affairs. Macron's assertion that Africans may not be fully capable of self-governance, citing security challenges, military readiness, and administrative issues, carries a tone of arrogance despite France's historical involvement. While France bears some responsibility, Macron does raise a valid point. Cooperation is a two-way street. In another statement, Macron acknowledged France's interests in Africa. Regardless of personal opinions about Macron or the habit of blaming foreigners for Africa's problems, one must recognize that both a willing seller and a willing buyer are necessary for such dynamics to occur. Corrupt leaders who embezzle funds and seek to launder money abroad play a critical role. They exploit diplomatic privileges to transport cash for foreign investment, which gives foreign powers leverage over them. These leaders bring large sums of cash into foreign countries, where they deposit it in banks and use it to purchase properties. Foreign powers are well aware of these practices and can pressure these leaders by threatening exposure. France and other foreign powers take advantage of these corrupt leaders and their collaborators within Africa, making deals that may not necessarily benefit the African countries involved. Some of these deals involve French mining companies and port management in West Africa, raising questions about competitive bidding processes. Macron's statement that Africans must be able to lead themselves is not entirely inaccurate, considering the state of the continent. It is disheartening that, decades after gaining independence, Africa still faces challenges while Asian nations have progressed significantly. To move forward, African nations must address leadership issues, a problem underscored by recent military coups, especially in Francophone countries. While military coups are not the solution, they often result from a lack of free and fair elections. Popularly elected leaders are more likely to bring progress to their countries, and African nations must prioritize transparent electoral processes. Furthermore, good leadership should focus on utilizing natural resources effectively. African countries can learn mining technology and establish value-added industries to create jobs and stimulate economic growth. Instead of exporting raw materials, they can export finished products with the right technical knowledge and international partnerships. Regarding the type of government, it is less about labels and more about principles. A government should guarantee free speech, freedom of expression, an independent judiciary, citizens' right to protest, and free and fair elections. Regardless of the specific governance model, these principles are crucial for serving the people's interests and preventing authoritarianism. Africa needs to begin rebuilding its economies now, fostering good governance and promoting self-reliance. By doing so, African nations can emancipate themselves and earn the respect of the world, leaving behind the legacy of blaming external factors for their challenges. If you are watching our video for the first time, I suggest you subscribe to our channel for more interesting and captivative information. Turn on the bell notification to get alert on all our recent posts so you won't miss out any. Share your thought in the comment section and share these video with family, friends, and concerned Nigerians. Thanks for watching.